Coast Guard boats prepare to head out to sea, and their crews get last-minute instructions on how to intercept migrants. People smuggling operations usually happen when the sea is calm. We've contacted the European Union and explained our needs to help us capture the smugglers and to help with our search and rescue operations. They understand our situation, but we have yet to see them deliver on their promises. This is a risky mission for the colonel and his team. He says smugglers and traffickers have recently started shooting at the Coast Guard vessels. These migrants were rescued from a rubber boat, which was heading towards the Italian island of Lampedusa. The Coast Guard intercepted the boat and brought them back. Thousands have attempted this dangerous voyage this year alone. As usual, they are people from African, Arab and Asian countries. The miserable conditions they experienced and frustrations are clear to see. More than 100 migrants and refugees from sub-Saharan Africa are in this detention center in the Libyan capital Tripoli. Most say their governments can't help them and they don't know when they will be released as long as officials here consider they entered Libya illegally. The detention center supervisors here say that a blood test has proved 11 of these women are HIV positive. However, a number of them want to stay in Libya rather than to be deported to their countries. Bashair, who's a migrant from Chad, says she was arrested in a house along with other women who were having a party and ended up here. <laughs> We've been treated really well since we arrived at this centre. Thanks to God, they provide us with water, tea, coffee and food. But before we came here, we'd been arrested and treated so badly. Here, we have everything we need. As rival armed groups and governments fight for control of Libya, migrants and refugees are often exploited and beaten by people as smugglers and traffickers. Libyan authorities are also accused of ill-treating migrants. We deny these accusations. There's no concrete evidence to support such claims against us. We treat them as our conscience dictates to us. Those who accuse us of abusing migrants haven't ever visited our detention centers. Only Doctors Without Borders have ever been there and provided the health care needed. The number of migrants and refugees usually increases during summer in Libya. Detention center staff say if they're released, they might be trafficked again. And until a solution is reached, these migrants will likely remain behind bars. Mahmoud Abdurwahid, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.